Well, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. I just got done repairing my steering column. Uh, the actuating rod here for the, uh, the lock plate was not a was not coming out far enough <clears throat> and uh, I had to take the top portion of the column off and to get enough access to it I had to remove the ignition switch down here the electrical part of the switch you can see that push rod down there jumps up into there and it's up on top of the column it's hard to get to it's an eight millimeter five sixteenths um, head on that and uh, it's not too bad to get to you can get to it from underneath I suppose but if you pull the uh, access plate loose this is an 81 C10 you pull that access plate loose, those little nuts, bolts, whatever they are, screws, become real obvious to get to. And you have to move that. If you have to replace the switch, it's the same thing. There's a... I don't know what this thing would be called. But it's got two studs. And then there's four bolts. And once you pull them, then you, the column will drop down enough room to give you to get to it. You got to be ambidextrous because uh, it's hard to work with the right hand only. You pretty much have to pull the wrench with the left hand. And uh, I'm just pleased now I got a. A rock rod that's going to prevent the wheel from being turned without uh, without the ignition switch, you know, the mechanical part of the switch being uh, actuated. It was down there. Turned out that there's a a rack that the key drives. And it was off a tooth. So once I reoriented everything, I don't know how it got that way. But there's another thing you have to fix sometimes. And uh, I noticed this problem when I had the steering column apart once for the uh, turn signal switch. And I'm just pleased now that it's uh, operational and I can go back to forgetting about this part of the project key locks properly and uh, I didn't have this happening in the off lock position so now I do thanks for watching show them